My name is Susan Rita from Alliance Girls High School and I would like to join the University of Nairobi to pursue medicine and later become an optometrist. My name is Emmanuel Bali from Maseno School and after my secondary education, I would like to pursue medicine and surgery at the University of Nairobi and later specialize in orthopedics. My name is Ryan Okwara from Butula Boys High School. I would like to take a course in astronomy at the University of Nairobi. My name is Ronnie Andieri from Kagumo High School, Nyeri County. I wish to pursue software engineering at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. My name is Adan Yusuf from County High School in Garissa. I would like to get an admission in Yale University and study Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. My name is Tessie Muhonta from Kaimosi Girls High School. I want to study medicine in the University of Nairobi. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. It is the second semi-final of InterSwitch SPAC Kenya 3.0, the show that discovers young STEM prodigies from around Kenya. We are proud to identify with these geniuses as they are intellectually advanced. Welcome to InterSwitch SPAC Kenya 3.0, proudly brought to you by InterSwitch. Never stop. William Arthur Ward was spot on when he said, curiosity is the wick in the candle of learning. We have seen the zeal to acquire knowledge and gain understanding from the very first episode of this season. Last week was the first semi-final episode and we had Flavian and Danson being the first finalists on this show. Today, we have another set of six super sparks and they are ready to prove to us that they can also be crowned the best STEM student in Kenya. Ronnie? Yes. How are you today? Fine, thank you. You're fine, thank you? Yes. What is your st strategy coming into the semifinals? To be more accurate and to be fast while responding the questions, especially during the advanced round. I wish you the very best of luck during this semifinal episode. Ryan, have you had a chance to speak to our industry spark ambassadors? No. Not yet? Yes. Right. But if you were given a chance to give advice to any of these students standing on the podium today, what would you tell them? I'll tell them to try their best to boost their confidence, their level of accuracy and speed. Okay, to our six contestants, you know the gameplay. Interstreet Spark is played in two levels, the foundation round and the advanced round. We begin with the foundation round where our contestants will face 12 questions to be answered each within 15 seconds. Marks are awarded based on a student's accuracy and speed. For questions in this round, the first three contestants with the right answer will earn the maximum 10 points. Any other student with the correct answer earns five points. This is the foundation round question one. The temperature at which the saturated Vapor pressure of a liquid equals the atmospheric pressure is termed as what? Is that the boiling, the standard temperature, the boiling point, or the critical point? Aiden, good to see you at the semifinals. Right, so give this question a try. What's your answer? Boiling point. Emmanuel, what about you? I think the answer is boiling point. The answer is indeed the boiling point. And on this very first question, Susan, Emmanuel, and Stacy earned 10 points. Aiden, five points. Question two. Jude and Samuel are brothers. Jude is six years older than Samuel. If Jude was born in 1967, what year was Samuel born? Is it 1961, 1972, 1970, or 1973? Stacy, how would you arrive at Samuel's year of birth? I think I'll take the year of birth of Jude plus the six years. So you take Jude's uh, year of birth plus six years? That would be 1967 plus 
Susan, do you agree with that? No. Um, you'd take 1967 minus 6. Minus 6. Stacy says plus 6. Susan says minus 6. Let's hear it from Ryan. Ryan, which direction did you choose? I would take 1967 minus 6. Minus 6 to get? 1961. 1961. Right, so looking at the question, we're told that June is six years older than Samuel. So there's no way that Jude will now be born a year or even more behind the year that Samuel was born. We understand that, which means that Stacy's reasoning was best. Samuel was born in 1973, okay? Correct answer is option D. Stacy, Aiden, Susan, and themselves, 10 points. Contestants, best of luck in the next question. The symbol shown represents what? The symbol shown represents what? Is that a resistor? Is it a single cell? Is it a switch or is it a wire? What does that symbol represent? 15 seconds are up. Emmanuel, give us the answer. I think the answer is A, a resistor. A resistor. What about you, Ryan? A wire. A wire. Right, I like this. We have different opinions, but let's get a final one from Aiden. I think the answer is A also, resistor. A resistor. That symbol is for a resistor. So option A is the correct answer. Brian and Susan earning zero points in this one. But not to worry, we're still towards the beginning. You have many more questions to earn points in. Contestants, question number four. What are often referred to as the powerhouses of the cell? What are referred to as the powerhouses of a cell? Is it the nucleus, the mitochondria, the cell membrane, or cytosol? What is the powerhouse of a cell? Aiden? I think the answer is mitochondria. Mitochondria, why? What are mitochondria? Uh, because they are the ones that produce energy for the cell. And that's why you think it will be the powerhouse. Emmanuel? I think the answer is B, mitochondria. Mitochondria. Mitochondria is the correct answer, and all contestants knew this, so points all round. Moving on to question five. Which of the following elements does not belong to group one? Which of the following elements does not belong to group one? Is it helium, potassium, lithium, or sodium? Which of these is not in group one? Ronnie? Yes. What do you think is the correct answer? I think the answer is helium. If the answer is helium, so tell us, which group does potassium belong? Potassium belongs in group one, similar to lithium and sodium. And helium? Helium belongs to group seven. Group seven, Ryan? Yes. Ronnie believes helium belongs to group seven. What about you? I believe it belongs to group two. Helium belongs to group two. But it would still fit as the option that does not belong in group one. Yes. You agree? Yes. Based on the results, this was easy for all the students. Helium does not belong to group one. Question number six. What is represented in the Venn diagram? What is represented in the Venn diagram? Aiden. Yes. Looking at that image, what do you think is going on? I don't know. You have no idea? Yeah. Have you seen a Venn diagram before? Mm, maybe. Maybe? Yeah. Emmanuel? I have no idea. Is there any contestant who has an idea? Ryan? No. Okay. So. In this Venn diagram, the highlighted area is in the middle, which would show a union between the set A and the set B. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Ronnie, Susan, Stacy, and Ryan are very good at guessing the answer. You were able to provide an answer that you thought was correct, and it was indeed. So 10 points to the fastest three and five points to Ryan. Question six brings us to the halfway point of the foundation round in this second semi-final episode. When we come back after the break, six more questions to go and a chance for these students to prove that they can make it to the finals of this competition. Stay with us.
Interswitch Spark Kenya 3.0 is proudly brought to you by Interswitch Never Stop. Our contestants have already attempted six questions, six more to go. How will you fare? Remember, the semi-final stage, the stakes are even higher. You were able to beat the contestants in the preliminaries, but right now, to make it to the finals, you have some of the best of the contestants from the preliminary episodes. How will you fare? Six questions can change your fate. Question number seven. Semiconductor is a class of solids whose conductivity increases with an increase in what? Temperature, pressure, voltage, or current. A semiconductor is a class of solid whose conductivity increases with an increase in what? Correct answer is temperature. Stacy, did you know the correct answer before I read it out? No. No. All right, but it sounds like a question that you might even uh, come across when you're in school. So now that you know, I'm sure you cannot fail this again, yes? Yes. Correct answer is temperature. With that in mind, let's proceed to question eight. Which of the following is a blood cell? Which of the following is a blood cell? The cytoplast, tip platelets, neurons, or the protoplast? Which one is a blood cell? Emmanuel? The answer is B, platelets. You believe platelets are blood cells? Yes. Ronnie? Yes. What do you think about that? I agree. You agree? Platelets is indeed the correct answer. They are blood cells, and all contestants agree with this. Points all round. I can see that your competitive spirit is increasing. Let's keep that going till the end of the foundation round. Question number nine. As shown in the equation, what volume of CO2 would be produced by four moles of NaHCO3? Molar volume of a gas at standard temperature and pressure equals 22.4 dm cubed. So what's the answer? Is it A, 11.2 dm cubed, B, 89.6, 22.4, or 44.8? Ryan, did you have enough time to internalize the question? No. Not really. What would you choose as the answer based on a calculation you can now completely think about? I'll choose D. You believe the answer is D. Susan, agree or disagree? <laughs> I have no idea. You have no idea. But have you reached the moles? Yes. You've reached that topic in, in, in school? Yes. All right. Based on the results, Aidan, Ronnie, Ryan, and Stacy provided the correct answer, earning themselves points. What's at stake in this competition is a 1.5 million Kenya shilling scholarship award. Who is going to receive it? The six contestants on stage right now all stand an equal chance. At the end of the foundation round, however, Two of you will drop out and will continue with only four. Three questions to go. Here comes question number 10. What is the pair of integers whose sum is minus 9? What is the pair of integers whose sum is minus 9? Is the pair A, 7 and minus 2, B, minus 6 and 3, C, minus 5 and minus 4, or D, 9 and 0? Stacy, this should be equal to calculate. Take us through the sum of the integers in option A would be? 5. Option B? Negative 3. Negative 3. Option C? Negative 9. Negative 9, you say, and option D? 9. 9. Ryan, what happened during? I didn't see the negative sign in option B in 3. You thought that option B had negative 6 and negative 3? Yes. All right, the correct answer is option C. You had a correct reasoning, however, you do not earn any point in that round. Question 11. Which of the following instruments helps to maintain the correct humidity and temperature of a building? Which of the following instruments helps to maintain the correct humidity and temperature of a building? Is it the air blower, air conditioner, a compressor, or a refrigerator? Susan? I have no idea. You have no idea. What about you, Ronnie? What would you use in a building if you wanted to maintain humidity and Temperature? I think the answer will be B. B? The, the air, air conditioner. conditioner? Yeah. Indeed, that is correct. Based on the results, Susan, the only one who didn't earn points, but not to worry. We have one more question to go, and this might just be what gives you points ahead of the other contestant. Question number 12, the final question in the foundation round. In the given diagram, A and B represent what? 
are those the tibia and sternum, the femur and the fibula, the tarsals and the femur, or the tibia and the fibula? A and B. Emmanuel? I think the answer is D, the tibia and the fibula. The tibia and the fibula. Ronnie? I agree. You agree? And that brings us to the final question in the foundation round. This is the second semi-final episode of Interstreet Spark Kenya 3.0. We will reveal the scores right after this sharp break. Welcome back. This is Interstreet Spark Kenya 3.0. We are in the semi-final stage. The contestants have already attempted their 12 questions. Who are the four that can proceed to the advanced round and who are the two that are dropping out? Our contestants are playing for a scholarship worth 1.5 million Kenya shilling. Those who proceed to the advanced round are one step closer to making it to the final stage. Ryan, do you believe the points you've earned in that foundation round have gained you access to the advanced round? I'm not sure. You're not sure. What about you, Susan? I'm not sure. You're not sure. Aiden, yes. are you just trying to be humble or do you think you've made it? Mm, I'm not sure, but I believe. Well, a Aiden, you believe right. With 80 points, you will be proceeding to the advanced round. The highest points scored in that round were 100 points by Roni. So Roni, you're also proceeding to the advanced round. However, earning 50 points and 70 points, Ryan and Emmanuel, those points are not enough to take you to the advanced round and a step closer to the finals. This is the end of your Spark journey, but I wish you the very best of luck in your schoolwork and also in future. Kindly give them a round of applause. Susan, I can see you're still anxious. How did that round go? Um, it, was, it went well. It's just that I didn't take enough time to reason well. Yes. All right. But now you need to take more time because when you're coming to the advanced round, you're on your own. We will see you actually attempting the questions. Are you ready? Yes. What about you, Stacy? Are you ready to tackle the questions in the advanced round? Yes. Yes, you are. Yes. We need to take a turn in order to determine the sequence of play. Here is the take a turn puzzle for today. Match the following elements with their respective symbols. We have the symbols as C, L, K, B, and B, E. What are these elements? Beryllium, boron, chlorine, and potassium. Ronnie and Dieri was the first to solve this puzzle, followed by Aiden, then Stacy, then Susan. It is now time to attempt 10 questions within 45 seconds. Contestants, remember, if you cannot provide an answer immediately, you can say pass. To each of our contestants, the ability to get to the finals is in your hands. Roni? My name is Roni Andieri from Kagumo High School, and I'm ready to spark. Roni, now is your time to spark. Viruses can be viewed under what type of microscope? Electron. Plants that live in water are called? Aquatic. What type of solution is a substance that contains more H3O plus than OH minus? Acidic. At what Kelvin temperature should all molecular motion cease? Zero. Find the power of a lens of a focal length of 40 centimeters. 0 0.025. What instrument is used to measure the relative density of a liquid? Pass. Which is Kenya's largest city by Nairobi. population? Where does a pig live? A pigsty. What is the period of a body which vibrates at a frequency of 30 hertz? 0 0.066. What term refers to the product of a force and its perpendicular distance? Moment. Plants that live in water are called? 
aquatic. Find the power of a lens of a focal length of 40 centimeters. 0 0.025. to That is it. Ten questions for Ronnie. He's done incredibly well. Kindly give it up for him. Aidan, like I said, the chance to get the finals is now in your hands. My name is Adan Yusuf from County High School, and I'm ready to spark. Aidan, now is your time to spark. What instrument is used to detect an earthquake? Pass. Which cell component produces ribosomes? Nucleolus. What phenomenon explains an element that exists in two or more physical forms? Pass. What process breaks down polysaccharides into monosaccharides? Pass. Which is the largest desert in Africa? Sahara. Which planet is known to contain life? Earth. What is the degree of white the power of 2 plus 5 pass. y plus 2 equals 0? What is the sum of angles in a pentagon? Pass. Which of the following, minus 33 minus 31 minus 28 minus 17, is the greatest integer? Minus 17. Expand the expression 2x into brackets x plus 3y. 2x squared plus 6xy. What instrument is used to detect an earthquake? Pass. What phenomenon explains an element that exists pass. in two or more physical forms? That is it. Ten questions for Aiden. Kindly give it up for him. Stacy, are you ready? My name is Stacy Mohonza from Karimosi Girls High School and I'm ready to spark. Stacy, now is your time to spark. Biological catalysts are also Enzymes. known as... The breaking down of complex molecules into smaller molecules is called... Pass. An element with a mass number of 23 and atomic number 11 has how 11. many protons? What are the monomers of protein polymer? Pass. The capital of Togo is... Pass. What are two official languages of English Kenya? English and Kiswahili. A man with the power of 50 watts can do a work Pass. of 1,000 joules. He transfines the surrounding with a, with a, without a material medium is possible through. A coin is tossed. What is the probability of getting no head? Zero. How many multiples of three are there from 1 to 20? Pass. The breaking down of complex molecules into smaller molecules is called? Digestion. What are the monomers of the protein polymer? Pass. The capital of Togo is? Pass. That is it. Ten questions for Stacy. Kindly give it up for her. Susan, it is now your chance to prove to us that you can make it to the final stage. Susan, are you ready? My name is Susan Vita from Alliance Girls High School and I'm ready to spark. Susan, now is your time to spark. What level of organization is blood? Pass. There are what major types of pollution? Pass. Who is regarded as the father of the computer? Pass. OS, the computer abbreviation, which means? Operating system. What is the maximum number of electrons that Pass. can occupy a 3S? What is the hardest allotrope of carbon? Diamond. The force that causes the surface of a liquid to behave in, like a stretched Surface skin tension. is called? Pascal is a unit for what quantity? Pass. Correct, 0 0.04846, with two correct significant figures. If x equals Pass. to minus 1, what level of organization is blood? Cell. There are what major types of pollution? Five. Who is regarded as the father of the computer? Pass. What is the maximum number of electrons that can occupy a 3S orbital? Six. That is it for Susan. Kindly give it up for her. And now that our contestants have already completed their 10 questions each, it is time to find out who proceeds to the final stage of Interswitch Spark Kenya 3.0. Only two contestants can make it to the finals. Who will it be? Ronnie, how many points do you think you've earned? 120. 120. What about you, Susan? 60. 60. Aiden? 80. 80. And Stacy? 80. Susan, we now know that your 60 points cannot get you to the final stage. We've seen your show of great effort and we appreciate you, Susan. We believe you're going to be a STEM genius in f future. Susan, thank you very much. Kindly exit the stage. Aiden and Stacy, you both believe that you had 80 points. Who amongst you will proceed? First of all, with 120 points, Roni, I like your smile. You have made it to the Thank final you. stage of this competition. To Stacy and Aiden, I'm afraid that I have to break the heart of one of you. Stacy, 80 points are not enough to get you to the final stage of this competition. However, Thank you very much for all the effort that you've put in on this show. Give it up for her as she exits. We have our two qualifiers on today's episode. Roni and Aiden. And I believe 1.5 million Kenya shillings in scholarship is worth competing for. 
Next week, our final set of two contestants will make it to the finals. I cannot wait to reveal who it will be, so join us. Till then, my name is Faith Miner. Join us on social media. Leave your likes and your comments. This has been Interstreet Spark National Science Competition 3.0. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative.